Welcome back. I'm Dr. Amy Novotny and we're still continuing with our daily life series and I wanted to take you outside again to the great outdoors and one of the areas that I like to read in is outside in the backyard. Now a lot of lawn chairs in the backyard are not ideal for our bodies so we have to work on accommodating our body to still keep it in a good position but at the same time able to achieve what we want to do which is improve our focus so we can focus on our book. Now this chair that I have right now, it leans back really far. So when I sit here like this in this position, it's not really ideal. So I have a couple options. I can sit up in the curled position like we talked about before and I have my book. Of course it's about breathing so I can sit here and read and I can curl up and this is not a bad position. The rungs of this chair, it's kind of like some kind of wood and they're not bad, so I can curl up just nicely. Sometimes I see people where they sit cross-legged and they sit this way. Now this is good if, like for this chair, my low back rounds out so I'm still in that curled position and I can sit here and read. Some people can't get their hips in this position so they may not be able to do that, but Sometimes when I see people get into a cross-legged position, they stick their chest out and they arch their back and it's not gonna be in a restful position. So now you're gonna be expending energy towards holding yourself in this rigid posture because you're activating your fight or flight nervous system in your back. Instead, if we can relax, tuck our butt under and go this way, that's another option. Ideally, I try to get people away from sitting cockeyed one side because if you're reading something where you have some type of emotional response that could be a stress trigger or anything, you're going to tighten up. And when that happens, you're gonna tighten up in this cocked position and it's not going to serve you. Because then when you get out of it, the muscles are still tense and toned from being in that position because it wasn't a voluntary muscle contraction, it was an emotional muscle contraction on top of your voluntary muscle contraction. So it can be very detrimental. So, Ideally, you wanna stay more in neutral if you can. If, for instance, I want my feet down, I could put them on top of something so I'm still in a more curled position so it's less stressful. I could even try putting a pillow behind my head to support me so that my whole back can be touching the back of the chair. There are so many different types of chairs out there, but if you're reading, if you're writing, really consider getting into that fetal position so that your energy is not expended holding you, yourself in a certain stressed position. We want you to be able to focus on your book, focus on your creative processes, and not use your energy otherwise. If you have any questions about this or you have some weird chair or anything like that, please send me an email, amy at pabberinstitute.com. I'd love to hear from you, hear how things are going. Have a great week and we'll see you next week. Take care, bye.